He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. Got him. He's gonna make a jump. Look, he's chasing me. He's chasing me. I'm eight. This is what I brought you down here for. Get a double header on the fly. Not everybody gets away with Johnny Exotic, but I think I could make that happen with him. I mean, look at the guy. He's just a young, innocent dude. Doesn't know how any difference. Yeah, I think we can make it happen. I see. <laughs> oh boy, what now? Oh no, we got, we got your rod. Okay, thanks. We're like ready to the, go. That one's got the fighting butt, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the fighting butt. The fighting I'll get the boat, you can store your rod over there. All right. I got you. Look at my GPS as it like, Shows all the stuff over here, but there's nothing this way, apparently. Yeah, the chart runs out. <laughs> this, this is no man's land over yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are a few places that the fly will outbeat live bait and artificial. <laughs> and this is one of those places that you can it, do that. If there's ever a place that you want to spend a little time throwing a fly and having success, yep. it's here, right? That's With you. For sure. But here. Yeah. I like it. Let's make it happen, man. I'm excited. Yeah. One of the things that I realize as we go further and further south, for me, it feels like there's more and more peacocks that show up. And and this is nothing more than just a network of canals in the Everglades. I mean, we brought it, like lots of arsenal. The, the, the whole arsenal's here. <laughs> so, but you say fly rod right out of the gate? Right out of the gate. We can't see anything really. Fly rod right gate. out of the gate. And you'll understand why after like three casts. After three casts. Maybe four. I mean, confidence is high, John. I mean, you know. <laughs> well, I mean. These fish are hungry. There's no live bait pressure on these fish. It's uh, it's an artificial game out here, you know? The guy Speak, throwing Speaking my language on that yeah, artificial game. For sure. He's on it, he's on it, he's on it, I'm eight. Got there him. Oh, that's a pretty good one, too. That's a pretty good one, too. <laughs> nice. Okay. Decent fish. I'm just gonna spot lock us here. He came after it pretty hard there, didn't he? He charged it, yeah. Eh, he's actually not as big as I thought he was. But, but a good one to but start. But it's the first one. Good one to start us out. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, he did a nice little, oh! He did a nice little jump for you. All right, got him. All right. A little fly. A fly. Yeah. So that's a male, right, with the yep. hump? Yep, nice little male. Look how colored they are. Yeah. Much better colored out here than in the city. No doubt, no doubt. Yep, healthy one too. I'll say. He's been eating good. <laughs> That's cool, man. Yep. Well done. Thank you, sir. I really used to fish this quite a bit when I was a kid because you could come out and you could catch bass. Every cast would be a one pound bass and it was fun. And now the migration of the peacocks have made their way into, you know, the south part of the Everglades like we're in. And I mean, they're, they're living. I mean, this is their native, you know, habitat, like what they were living in the Amazon. So yeah. it's prime for them. Um, it's deep enough that they can get through a pretty cold winter and a lot of the limestone holds a lot of heat in the winter. So they can, makes sense. they can make it through some pretty cold winters. Oh, he's following it. Yep. Yeah. it. I sometimes will stop when they're following it like that. Okay. Just so you know. 
especially since it's early, they're gonna be a little slower than normal. Got him, got him. There you go. <laughs> Look, I, I did exactly what you said. I just let it sit for a little bit. Hey, great idea to bring five weights. Told you. <laughs> Man, these jokers don't play either, are they? No. I just the smaller ones fight even harder than the bigger ones, it seems like. Oh, I saw a friend come up here with him. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Nice. Got him. Nice. Dude, look at the coloration on that joker. God. But I, I let it sink, like you said. Right. And he came up right behind it. Sometimes they just need a second to analyze what it is and, you know. Yeah. We'll get this guy in the water and we'll get another one. So this time of the year too, we have, uh, you know, the peacock start to spawn. As soon as that water temperature hits like, you know, the high 70s, you're gonna see some fish starting to build some beds. I try to leave those beds alone. I won't want to let those fish make more babies and just make more population for yeah. more people to come and catch them in the future. For one fish that's sitting on a bed, you'll have 10 free swimmers around That's it, exactly so. what we saw. And I think we we're both on the same page there. And I can appreciate somebody like yourself that is conscious of, of just that. And right. certainly um, it's tough to pass up a five, six pounder sitting on a bed. Sure. Um, but it'd be one thing if you were fishing an area that it was few and far between. Right. But that's not the case here in the glades. That is not the case here in the glades. <laughs> we, we were covered up with them at one point. Eight, I'm eight, there we go. That's you got good. him. That's a really good fish too, really good fish. Okay, stand by, stand by. He's on the reel. Holy cow, that was fast. He's gonna make a jump. I'm eight again. I'm oh, eight again. Come on. What? Second cast back to back. Got him. Got him. Nice one, too. Got him. Got oh, I'm on fire now, bro. He's chasing me. He's chasing me. I'm eight. Come on, you gotta get a double up. Oh, I got him! Yes, we got the double header. <laughs> Look, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was looking at yours. There you go, we got a boyfriend and a girlfriend. This is what I brought you down here for. Get a double header on the fly. Well, Johnny, I gotta do it. Not put this way because it's not fun. But I am gonna pick up that little micro spinning rod. That see sounds if I good. Can, uh, get a little bite on some ultralight. I actually cut this thing down one notch just to give it a little smaller profile. My gut tells me they're gonna love it. They're absolutely gonna crush it. Got that him on the micro light. Is it a peacock? Yeah, it's a good one too, buddy. Wow. <laughs> Meanwhile. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Look at that guy. Meanwhile, I'm hooked on a gar. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is a nice. He hard charged that soft plastic. I'm just gonna hold on to my rod. Cur here. Curl tail for the win. Oh wow. <laughs> oh. Johnny, oh, I have never thrown that curl tail, not one time ever. And it just smoked it. Smoked it. Okay. I would say that the DOA is the win for the peacocks. <laughs> I might need to reach out to them. <laughs> well, I, you told me we were catching them on, you were catching them on small little plastics. And, yeah. So, you know. Look at that guy. I literally cut the first knuckle of that. Okay. That Basically the head of the bait off. Sure. That's a big one. That's probably one of the bigger ones of the day, too. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Good yeah. job. Nice fish. 
He's That's definitely what, in the, what, three and a half, four pounder yeah, range? Yeah, for sure. And, and I think one of these, they, they get a lot of girth because they're, they get tall too, right. you know? That's how they get that nickname, the mailbox. Uh-huh, I see that. Yeah. Five weights, six weeks, I'm all about it, right? And yeah. we happen to have the right flies make that happen today. Yeah. Uh, and then, honestly, I think switching off the plastics, it was just a comfort thing for me. Sure. That's I mean, and I it all. obviously worked well for you because <laughs> you probably caught six in a row, like back to back. Yeah, back, and so. you know, the cool thing too is using a totally different plastic that I would normally use. I mean, I actually ordered that car to, like I told you, for sight fishing red fish on yeah. the sand. You know, it has a lot of movement without you having to move it. Right. And I think these peas, when you when I was throwing it to them and letting it drop, as yeah. soon as it dropped and that tail was still moving, yep. they smashed it. Game on. Got him. Oh, nice geez. fish. God. Nice fish. <laughs> oh my, you're you're keyed in now. Okay. You you're oh. that's a freaking long curve. Oh, he's got one with him. Goodness. Nice male. Woo! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Keep that hook in there. <laughs> wow, you, you're catching up fast. I'm a plastic guy. <laughs> okay. I, I throw lots of plastics. Okay. I feel like, oh, and I see two more cruising. But but I saw I saw the two going that way, so All I right. threw ahead of it. I didn't see that fish until I saw him come up behind it. What a I mean, beautiful fish. Fly, curl tails. Yeah. I gotta jump on that soft plastic game. <laughs> well, it's you're fixing to catch one on that soft plastic. All right. Yeah. Dude. You just got yourself a, a double header. <laughs> Come on, get you out guys, of here. Do you see what's going on here? My bad. <laughs> Jeez. You just literally got yourself <laughs> a un you're, unassisted. You you were holding the other one. So uh, Dude, I, I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. I, I saw I saw him cruising down the edge. Unassisted doubleheader. Okay. <laughs> Dude. Dude. I saw him cruising down. You had that one already, and two fish. Ah. Two fish. They are smoking this thing. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a little phone call to DOA. There. Oh my goodness! I gotta. Woo! That was kind of dirty, Jay. <laughs> that was. Look, I, I apologize. <laughs> don't, don't apologize. That that was like quite literally <laughs> an unassisted. Single Dude. person double header, and you got two different species. You got the popka, and you got the butterfly peacock bass right there. Uh, you can tell God, about that. Look at the coloration, yeah. Black dorsal fin and all those extra spots on there. That was killer. Those are beautiful. What beauties. He gone. Yep. Dude, I did kind of snake one out for me. That's know. all right. You're holding my fish right there, and I do appreciate you. That's all right. But uh, yeah, I couldn't help it, man. He just. That was sick. <laughs> that was absolutely. Epic. Well, dude, I mean, today is exactly what you said it was going to be. Species wise, peacocks. Yep. We got Oscars. Uh, Oscars. We got a. Um, yeah, we got a mine cichlid. Mine cichlid. Yep. We got a warmouth. A warmouth. And, and, uh, and, oh, yeah, don't forget that gar. That, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The one that my hand still smells from. Yeah. I'm going to, uh, I'll be back. Might have to leave these guys at home. That's fine. But we'll come back and, yeah. And, uh, see if we. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> bottom line is, leave that guy home anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, man, it, it's an absolute joy to fish with you, you know, and we've, we've had an opportunity to be able to make this happen. Uh, weather cooperated, which is all we can ask for. So that's the most times, important man. part. I appreciate you. Thank Let, you very let's much. Let's roll to the dock, huh? Let's do it.